Well, how much do you really know about derivatives and the markets that they trade on? Well, if you understand how your bundle of investment grade securities was put together, or do you understand how your electricity forwards were priced, or who's insuring your credit default swaps? Well, you probably don't know how much your bank is charging you for them, or who they're betting against you. Well, this lack of transparency proved to be a fatal flaw in the system during the financial crisis when owners of subprime bonds and default insurance had no way of knowing just how much toxic debt they were exposed to. But regulators now want these opaque and complex derivatives to come out from the shadows and go through central clearing houses instead. Well, that would force the people who make them up to stand by what they've done, putting up a certain amount of capital and guaranteeing that they have the funds to hold up their end of the bargain. Well, 100 years ago, CME Group was getting started as the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. Well, now it's one of the world's most sophisticated financial exchanges, and it's looking to take advantage of the new rules. Well, I spoke with the chief executive, Craig Donahoe, and I asked him if the crisis would have been less severe if the rules on clearing were stricter. The crisis was broader than just credit default swaps, um, and I think it's important to recognize that. But, you know, certainly we're big believers that central counterparty clearing can reduce systemic risks if it's implemented properly. Um, and that's what we're doing. Uh, we're extending ourselves, you know, broadly. Our, our primary focus at the moment is on our recently launched interest rate swaps clearing initiative. We've got very good support from the um, industry and market participants on that. This is very early stages. People are still looking for the completion of the, you know, regulatory rules and other determinations. The Dodd's Frank need to be made. rules. So when it comes to implementing this and coming up with how you put together the clearing the clearing house you've got to have participation in fact you have participation from the major right. banks right. they sit on risk committees and help come up with the trading rules do they have too much power too much say in how things are going to work going forward i mean it is there they're trying to protect their lucrative business a multi-trillion dollar market well i think you have to be very um careful and balanced about that um, and that certainly is one point of view but they also have a you know critical interest in assessing the risk of the clearinghouse because ultimately they bear the risk of the clearinghouse it's a mutualized risk structure and so we guarantee the performance of all obligations to buyers and sellers the reason that we can do that is because of the contribution from the clearing member firms who are willing to absorb those risks so I think there's a uh, there's two sides to that discussion and I think it's absolutely fair for large clearing member firms who are bearing the ultimate risk of the guarantee function to have that involvement. Why then do they seem to try to block any efforts by smaller banks to get involved in this market? Bank of New York Mellon, for example, has had a, a tough time getting in. I and mean, what determines the criteria for who can be part of a clearinghouse, a member? Right. Well, let me just say, uh, firstly, that from our perspective, um, you know, we feel that those determinations really ought to be based on, you know, the risk profile of the clearing facility and the capital and financial wherewithal and the willingness of clearing member firms to devote substantial capital to support the clearinghouse. Our fundamental belief is to be independent and neutral among all of our clearing member firms and to provide an open clearinghouse facility that a broad range of firms can participate in subject to the fact that you've got to be willing to contribute the capital and be able to support the risk of the clearinghouse. That was Craig Donahue of the CME Group.